Good evening, dudes and dudettes. As always, it is the one and only Light Liger here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stake your AVAX tokens on the Avalanche blockchain, which is one of these newer players on the scene, recently launched their mainnet, and it's trying to basically compete with a lot of other uh, smart contract blockchains such as Polkadot, Cardano, Ethereum, you name it. And I'm looking forward to this project in general, looking to see more dApps being built on it and hopefully I get to cover those on the channel in the future. But today we're going to be focusing on staking and right now there is basically one and easy way to participate on that and that is through the um, wallet.avax.network which is an avalanche wallet which is basically on the web. And everybody can create a new wallet here um, and that is very simply easy. So you get to generate a seed phrase which is 24 words basically and obviously copy this uh, store it in your notebook not just on your pc somewhere safe not on any internet service obviously because those can be always hacked and after that you can basically log in with your seed phrase so far they don't have an application such as metamask which allows you to import the seed phrase on and easily log in through that so you have to every time access the wallet by pasting that seed phrase or a private key key store file or nano ledger but we're going to be jumping straight up into the actual wallet and i'm going to be explaining all the basic stuff you need to understand here. So AVEX has obviously certain features which are not exactly uh, something you see on other blockchains. So it's good to go through them to make people understand. So AVEX is basically three different, we could call them chains or channels, so to speak. And you have the X, which is basically where you deposit all your AVEX tokens. So I basically moved uh, 96 AVAX from Binance into Avalanche Wallet so I can stake it basically. And obviously there will be probably more exchanges. At some point I believe Exodus, Atomic or Trust Wallet might integrate AVAX and AVAX staking into their service. But for now this is, seems to be one of the very few ways to basically stake your AVAX tokens. And now, so when you're going to be depositing from exchange or from some other entity, this is the address you're going to be using to basically deposit. It starts with X, so you have a kind of good idea what it means. And this changes every time you're going to be having a new deposit. So remember that, that it's actually changing every single time. I guess that's, um, you know, adds a layer of security there. And then there is the P, which is the platform chain. And this is basically where you're going to be uh, participating on the staking. So we're going to be moving our tokens from the X chain into the P chain. And the C chain is basically the contract chain address. And this is a way to interact with Ethereum virtual machines. So I guess this is sort of a, like a bridge of sorts. Um, uh, technically, but what we're going to be doing here obviously is um, so here you can see basically your a main page. There's the assets. So we have AVAX. They obviously already support tokens. So if you have already tokens, it will list below that. Then there's collectibles and these are NFTs. And what you're going to be doing first is we're going to be going into the cross chain and we're gonna be moving from the X chain in to the P chain. So the source chain is where it's going from um, to the destination chain, which is in this case P. And I'm gonna be moving pretty much all of this tokens. Obviously there's gonna be a small fee of 0 0.002. So I'm gonna be leaving some um, for the actual, you know, for transaction fees. Uh, in the future. So um, let's actually put that right. I'm gonna make this a five. So I'm going to be confirming that and then we're going to be having the transfer and now it's going to be moving into the P chain. Here on the side you can see all the transactions that have gone through. I forgot to mention this obviously earlier guys. Make sure you're going to be obviously doing a test transfer to make sure everything works, that you have the address working uh, before you're going to be sending all your funds and remember the um, X address does change every single time. By the way, there's also a night mode here available, but for the sake of clarity, we're gonna be using white mode 
um, sorry, day mode uh, today. Now we have obviously moved our uh, AVAX into to the P chain, which is the staking chain. So you can see also a breakdown here on the top corner that shows you how much AVAX is on the X chain, which is the receiving and sending. Then there is the P chain, which is the um, the staking chain and et cetera. And then there's the C chain basically. Now we're gonna be hitting into earn tab and this is where the magic basically happens. And I also wanna say that there's a manage key um, thing page here. See where you can import and export keys and see like, uh, you know, phrases and everything. And on the advanced tab, you can also import stuff for failed chains transfers, for instance, and stuff like that. And the studio allows you to create NFTs to my understanding, something to probably explore in a future video. But let's get back into the earn tab. So obviously in you guys wanna become a validator, um, you need 2000 AVAX on the P chain to become one, but obviously we're just gonna be staking. So we're gonna be delegating. And basically, obviously it already says that staking requires AVAX to on the P chain, transfer the tokens between X and P. Now we're gonna be adding delegator and we're gonna be choosing something from here. Um, I'm not gonna be doing uh, uh, too much research here on what exactly you're gonna be uh, choosing. I'm gonna be choosing something more popular here. Um, apparently you can't filter it. You can see the uptime that is probably very important. And you can also see the fee percentage, which one is going to be costing you less, which was going to be costing you more. And you can see like it, it, with them, once you have like very low fees, don't tend to have actually hundred percent uptime, which I think to me is a very important metric here. So I'm going to be choosing something that is hundred percent and has a very low fee. So we're going to not going to be having paying too much in costs to the people. And then there's the available amount. Let's see, there's gonna be um, end times. Yes, I think we're gonna be going with something like this. Something that has enough, okay, I'm just, too many options here, that is always a problem. I think in future there's probably gonna be some type of um, service that, um, allows us, okay, we got to actually accidentally move it here. So I'm going to be choosing just like, um, let's just go with this one. Now we're going to be selecting this node. The delegation fee is 2%. Validation start date is here. The validation end date is, is also here. Um, that is put into, um, to the end of the year. So that is in October. And we're going to be moving um, max amount that we can move. Obviously there's a maximum how much can be delegated to each node. Um, and that is a pretty nice system in my opinion. So I think it's kind of like a decentralized reasons. And you can add the custom amount here, but, um, and here the estimated reward is gonna be 0 0.52 AVAX in duration of 21 days. And the fee will be 0 0.01. We're gonna be confirming this and we're gonna be seeing once again, all the nodes and everything. And I'm gonna be submitting this. And now we are basically waiting for the actual transaction to confirm. That is probably gonna be showing you here on the side. And now it has already gone through. And we can go, we, we can go back to the earn tab and we can view the rewards. And at the moment you don't have any pending rewards. Um, you can read more about the uh, cycles in which they're going to be paying you the rewards for staking uh, on their website in case you're more interested at that. Obviously, I do recommend like reading into on the nodes, which are going to be the best, best fees. What are they going to be doing with the rewards and etc. So that is always very important when it comes to these uh, types of things. And I think there's going to be uh, improvements on information on that probably on the uh, some interfaces in the future. And that's pretty much how easy it is. It's not very overtly complex in my opinion. And it will be showing you now here on the sidebar, the total amount still, but also it's gonna be showing you how much is actually on the staking uh, pool. Thanks for watching for this video. In case you wanna support my work, I'm gonna leave Avalanche wallet uh, address here down below. So you can send me some tokens, I guess. And I will see you guys on the next video whenever it may be. See you soon.